Hey, let's move to part three of Begin and Belong. I want to talk to you about our structure as a church. Uh, th this is kind of an important deal. It sometimes gets overlooked. Um, but we, we want you to be able to feel confident that, that we're just not kind of shooting from the hip. There's, there's, there's actually not only purpose behind what we're doing, but there's a structure to it. So hopefully these fill in the blanks, these next fill in the blanks will give you um, a little more meat to the bones of how we operate here at Christ's Place. Um, we're just dedicated to you growing and we really feel like these different pieces of the structure help that happen. So here's number one, and it really is the paradigm of leadership for us. Ministry is guided by pastors. Ministry is guided by pastors. And as you're reading in your notebooks, as directed by the lead pastor, the pastoral team oversees day-to-day -day operations of the church ministry. Now, if your history is a smaller church, then you're more familiar with what I would call a congregational style of church where it's led by committees or by lay people. Um, one thing that's, that's gonna be very, feel differently here at Christ Place is we have full-time pastors who have not been hired to do all the work. They've been hired to be expert in their fields to rally people in the church who are called those different ministries to actually be shepherded and serve in a way that is helping maximize their time and energy. So we are led uh, and guided by the pastors. Second fill in the blank is decisions are advised by our executive leaders. That's your fill in the blank. Uh, executive leaders would be comparable to what some churches call their church board or their or their deacons or their elders. And our executive leaders are made up of from five to nine partners in our church. And you, you may want to ask the facilitator a little bit more about that, but hopefully, this, hopefully number three here will explain really some of it. So as a church, our mission is accomplished by our members and partners. And that's your fill in the blank for number three, members and partners. I'm not gonna go into detail with that. I'll have you read what's in your notebooks. And if you have any questions, I know our facilitator would love to be able to talk to you about it. You're also gonna see in your notebooks, a section where it tells you or talks to you about who we're affiliated with. Uh, I think the most important thing for you to know is that we are a part of the Assemblies of God. It's a cooperative fellowship, where, and we adhere to the, there's 16 tenets of faith, and in the, one of the, in the appendix of your notebook, it will share with you some of the beliefs that we have. It's a, it's, it's a Protestant denomination, but the thing I love about it is it gives us the freedom to, as a church, do what God's called us to do. So here at Christ Place, though we're affiliated with the Assemblies of God, we in some ways have a very interdenominational feel or a non-denominational feel. We have Catholics and Baptists and Presbyterians and Lutherans, and I even have different denominational pastors on our staff with us. So um, while we love that affiliation and I like the covering with it, I'm under the authority uh, of the Assemblies of God, and I find there's security in that. You need to know that your lead pastor is under authority. Uh, I get a little bit concerned when, where there's a church that doesn't have an authority structure because every leader is still a, a human being with, with shortcomings and temptations and, and potential um, shortfalls. And we need to have people in our life that will call us on the carpet. We also need people in our lives who will hold us to being doctrinally sound. And that's what the Assemblies of God does for me as your lead pastor. So I hope that information helps. I'm gonna turn it back over to the host and facilitator. If you have any more questions, they would love to be able to take those questions.